hang up. Yeah, just give it a moment. I think we'll wait for another couple of minutes. So, so let them have a coffee and come back. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, uh, I think we are on a start. Uh, good morning, everyone. Very warm welcome to Triple Camp London. I know it's a chilly weather, it's okay. <laughs> for me, it's very cold again. Uh, again, thanks for coming to this session, uh, Drupal 101. Uh, welcome to the Drupal community. Uh, so, So in this session, we're gonna discuss about uh, all about Drupal. Uh, we're gonna uh, discuss about what is Drupal and Drupal is means to my life and uh, Drupal community, Drupal history, how Drupal got created, and um, how can you get involved with the uh, uh, Drupal community? You can start your contributions or uh, or a business perspective why Drupal is used by the big players and small players and how it get benefited to your business. Uh, that's pretty much we're going to discuss today. So uh, why this session, it's, uh, why it's motivate me to do this. Um, you can see the pictures and uh, see a couple of people responded really different way and it's uh, this sort of sessions changes their attitude towards the community or how they can get involved with the community. So that motivates me to do these sessions. Uh, so uh, this is how I started Drupal, uh, very first time in uh, 2009, back in 2009. I was working in a small, uh, I started my career as a PHP developer, as an apprentice in a small company in uh, Cochin, India. Uh, after my engineering, I don't have the job, then I start doing an apprenticeship. Then, um, I got as a PHP developer, uh, and there is uh, fortunately there is no one to take care of a new Drupal project is coming. So I took that opportunity and start installed in a Windows machine. I got this big error, and I put it in the went to Drupal.org and paste that there. And maybe in a half an hour, someone from other part of the world, or other corner of the world, come and say you need to go with the Drupal 6 instead of going Drupal. Five. So that moment itself amazed me about this community. Uh, 
that's how I decided come for the code, then I stay with this community from last nine years. Uh, I'm Rakesh James. I work with the CTI Detail, one of the largest Drupal agency in Europe. We have offices in both London as well as in Manchester. Uh, you can find me in Drupal.org. That's my username, Rakesh GZTCR. And you can find me in Twitter. So before going to start the session, let me give me let me give you my uh, background. Uh, I born in a small uh, state in India. You can see the that is Kerala. It's called God's own country. If you are a tourist or traveler, uh, it's mixed with a lot of uh, traditions, a lot of cultures, and it's a lot of greenery, backwaters, and waterfalls, beaches. Uh, it's always welcome. Any of you, you planning a trip, just tweet me. Let me see if I can help something on it. I will definitely do it. And I was born in 1986, and I started schooling. Then I, uh, then I hearing a lot about uh, UK because British ruled it. We got a freedom in 1947, and there is no census in Kingdom of Britain. So it's, it's amazed me a lot, and so started dreaming about UK. Uh, then, grown up, uh, start watching English Premier League, uh, became a Chelsea fan. I mean, so it's a, it's the dream goes little more bigger and bigger every day. Uh, uh, in 2009, I started my Drupal journey. Uh, so this, the people are in these pictures somewhere or uh, or around or directly or indirectly, help my growth in Drupal community. A couple of them are here. And they guided me, they inspired me, they helped me to grow each day by day in Drupal community or as in my career as well. So they really helped my dream come true. Uh, last January 27th, I fly from India to UK, and that's how I got received. That's the picture uh, uh, with Paul. Uh, he received me in airport. Uh, I do a lot of, uh, voluntarily do a lot of Drupal training in India was to doing. Uh, looking forward to have a chance here, maybe if I can do voluntarily and contribute. Uh, why? Because of I do believe in, in impact of Drupal can change the people's life, uh, especially on the career basis. So, so I do believe that impacts really will happen in my life. So that's the reason I do voluntarily train people. Uh, this is one of the training pictures I done. So uh, all of you know, must be know, this is Price by that. He's a founder of Drupal. I thank God for him every day uh, because he and Drupal did a very good impact on my life. Uh, I mean, thank God for that. He can, he's a uh, number one user in Drupal.org. You can follow him on uh, Twitter as well. So well, this is a picture in uh, DrupalCon Asia. That's the uh, left corner. That is a picture uh, I took as a selfie when I voluntarily uh, distributing the name badges in the reception desk. He came. I took the selfie. Later on, the after keynote, you can see people attacking me. Sorry, it's all my fault. Uh, <laughs> I really meant to do that. Uh, that's, that's a fun following for drives everywhere because of Drupal impacted many lives. If I couldn't imagine a career like now if I, I couldn't end up a taxi driver if I don't have a Drupal or something like that, maybe. So it's a history of uh, Drupal, uh, how Drupal started. That's a picture of uh, Drives by that. He's studying in 2000 in Antwerp University, Belgium. Uh, that time there is no, we all know that in 2000 there is no much availability of internet. They have a availability of internet in they are dormitories, uh, so they decided uh, there are a couple of people around, uh, so they have one ADSL modem in one of his friends. So they started an intranet there. Once they started an intranet, uh, they still felt that there is something is missing so that they can chart around and they can uh, put their where updates around where they're going to hang out and all. So that time he took that opportunity, started a web board. I mean, that is a real uh, origin of Drupal, maybe, uh, content ma as a content management framework. He started web drop, uh, web board, and he want to name that as a dog. 
dot in Dutch it's called village. Uh, so uh, he wants to put that name. He once he moved out from the college after his graduation, he checked in uh, DNS whether it's available or not. Domain name is available or not. Then he found that name is available, but he mistakenly typed that as a, that as a drop that is stuck actually. Uh, so uh, they put that say online uh, the application. Then people are start using many people, not only their friends, the user are, users are changed and they come up with a lot of ideas. They want to increase or improve this way, that way. So uh, in 2001, uh, they put new name called Drupal. It's again, uh, it's English word, Drupal. It's English word and it's meant in Dutch is uh, drop. So uh, in 2001, they released the first version of Drupal. That's the history of uh, Drupal. Uh, and again, uh, uh, Rice found that there is some governance has to be happening uh, later when he went for a road trip to uh, SFO. Then he found there is an association has to be formed. So that's how he found that Drupal Association. You can see the people, uh, current executive director and community liaison is here. Uh, say hello to them. It's here in Drupal Camp London, Megan and uh, Rachel. Uh, Drupal Association is generally dedicated to fostering and supporting the Drupal project as a project. Uh, so it's make sure that uh, people can come and contribute. Uh, they get the stipends or grants or scholarship for contributing back to the community as a code base. And you get the grant to uh, go and speak in Drupal cons and uh, across the world. Uh, Drupal as an association fund for that. And Drupal, Drupal Association has a cultivation program that makes sure that the certain projects has to be upgraded in, into certain versions. And they make sure that they're funding that project. So Drupal Association do that governance properly, what is has to be in future, how is as a project, as a community, where has, has to be lead in the future. All this uh, done by Drupal Association. Uh, you can, uh, how Drupal Association get the fund generated through the Drupal cons, majorly the tickets, and uh, if you can take a membership, individual membership, it started with uh, 15 pounds or 15 USD. You can take a small membership, it's, it's still, uh, it's still impact a lot of work in the Drupal community. So. Uh, you can take as an organization level membership. You, you can take as a supporting partner membership. So all this membership is available here, association support. Uh, so if you want more involved with the Drupal Association, uh, this is a plan for 2018. You can see the, when as the meeting is happening, uh, where under the, it's a more like online meeting, you can join them. Uh, then, you have a lot of other opportunity like uh, uh, board member can be selected through the voting system. You can nominate yourself and get voted and selected for that. Uh, so Drupal Association board membership like uh, go for a particular period. So once you selected, you will be served for a couple of a couple of years. After that, you get retired from the board membership. Uh, so let's let's go and discuss what is the key concepts of Drupal. Uh, it's, it's fairly simple as like any other kind of, uh, kind of management system, but uh, I would say this is the basic, uh, basics we struck uh, as a Drupal, as a project struck really well. Uh, we have file layers and you can see all of the application go to into the uh, data layer, whatever piece of content and go into the data layer that is schema. Uh, you can use MySQL or PostgreSQL, or uh, if you have very, very large, you can use MongoDB as well now. And once you have that data, then you have the abstraction layers. You have modules, blocks, and menus. Modules is the abstraction layer. Uh, decide that uh, how you can pull the data from database and you can show as a piece of content as a block or which page or which URL you can go and show the content. And after that you have a permission layer. The permission layer decides this block of content or piece of the page of content can be shown to the particular users. Suppose like uh, 
uh, if you are a university website, uh, students ha can see only particular piece of inf information. Uh, so like board member can see particular piece of information. So those permission sort of layer is happening in permission layer. And the final one is a friend end. I mean, like the page you are seeing in the browser, that is template. Uh, generally, we using PHP as a template till 7, Drupal 7 uh, and Drupal 8. It's used TIG. Or even you don't want either of TIG or PHP. You want to use any JavaScript templates. So it's a beauty of Drupal. You can always extend these layers. And you can always, if you feel like friend and you want to take it out, you can take it out. As a business point of view, you feel that, OK, I don't want this anymore. I want better friend and you can take that uh, template layer and make your own template there. And uh, this is Drupal core. Uh, you can see the core have a small amount, but you have a large number of country modules so that you can extend your application like however you want with the contribute modules. And you can see that a Drupal security team works through the core and contrib modules. And if you not following the way of standard in Drupal to do the coding, you just yourself on the security part in your customized module. If the custom module help you to extend the functionality, however, or customize the functionality according to your business needs. So. Uh, Let's find out why do people choose Drupal, uh, uh, especially like uh, more larger people using now. Uh, so first is security. Security is damn good. You can see the Australian governments, the Royal Q use it, and NASA use it. It's not everybody fancy you to get it, their names on Royal Queen's website and say I have this one. Don't be fancy that. So it's uh, but Drupal as a core or a project, uh, make sure that security is a first most thing and you can have a security advisory systems uh, this is the security advisory system in drupal.org you can see however you can secure way of writing codes these directions are there and this is the security announcements for the core and country modules and public service announcements uh, that means that there are some other if you do that api in certain ways if you are not using that api in certain ways you get your hacked your sites so all those the our security teams are we need to hats off them they're doing a pretty good job and they evaluate really well if they are not there we must be affected with a lot of fancy ransomware attack last couple of months happened but they made sure that our site our asset drupal as a core our platform is very secure uh, scalability all of you know that uh, grammy use it and our favorite channel nowadays whether uh, weather.com use it. <laughs> so I'm sure all of you, at least a recent couple of days, you went to the weather.com and find out what's going on weather. So uh, this means uh, Drupal is very good platform on in terms of scalability, uh, uh, scalability and performance. That means you have a find that users average users today. Uh, suppose you're getting snow tomorrow, you're gonna uh, in the evening you're gonna check it weather.com with the 5,000 or 5 million people. So Drupal is considered all of us just like a users. It's scalable. How many of you go and use it? It's still stable and scalable. And uh, SpaceX uses Nasdaq as well. So next is internationalization. That means multilingual. Uh, Drupal core, Drupal 8 core, with, core will come with a multilingual support. Uh, uh, Indian government uses uh, because of in India there is several languages spoken. Uh, so English is a major language. Then Hindi is the second language. is a government language. So Indian website is done in two languages. Tesla, uh, Tesla, it's uh, check uh, help you to do if you wherever you located it, you search for the Tesla website. Then you be redirected to the particular language. Uh, Tabor, Watches, Lamborghini, there are many. Uh, I would say as a content management platform, Drupal is overseen other, other, uh, other content managers in this internationalization because Drupal 8, make sure it comes with that. Uh, you don't need to extend any plugins or install any plugins. It helps you to build a multilingual website very easily. So stability, uh, Drupal as a project has been stable from 2001. We've been released eight versions now. In every six months, we have a uh, small releases now. 
and that means Drupal always a stable project since 2000, since the first version released. So there are a couple of banks are using, uh, World Bank is using, as well as Webster Online Banking is also using Drupal as their platform. So all of you know that leading accessibility, uh, accessibility is helps you to accessible for the disabled people. Uh, I think yesterday or day before yesterday I had a news so someone is charged by $20,000 for, they don't, uh, I think that website is done in WordPress. Oh, so. Uh, more like a, is we make sure as, as a project, as a community, uh, who are blinds or anyone like a, who can use this platform as their business. Uh, you can see RNB is using Great Ormond Street Hospital Charity is using that. Ultimate Society website is using it. All done in Drupal. Drupal 8 course ships with uh, accessibility, uh, helpful, and you can build out on, on the top of that. Uh, as compared to any other CMS, it's easy to build a accessibility website. So most like another way of uh, Drupal is so special is in content authoring. Uh, it has a lot of workflow involved, content authoring workflow involved, and it has a modular of structured way of keeping the content. You can always keep the content uh, however you want, categorize it. Just like if you go to IMDb, you can search for uh, thriller movies, romantic movies. So the Drupal helps you to do that in the from the core itself. Uh, this is more about how the content authoring experience. Uh, you can see the pictures. Uh, there are three stages of website for the live website. There is a production you can see. Then you put a two stages of content, the authors are working on it. And not only the content is changing, even the layout also getting changed. So you can always show that managers, content managers say, this is how the business we're gonna affect it. This is gonna content authoring helps on it. So it's more helpful for the business people to understand how it get affected in the future if you do this functionality or it, more like a content management perspective. Sorry, I think internet is not working. Uh, again, there is a feature, okay. Yeah, uh, so this is content manager experience, especially one person as a manager saw that uh, there is a website and he, he's saying that that is not a brownie, uh, that is a fudge. So he put a comment, said that that's not a uh, brownie, it's a fudge and save it, then uh, as a content editor or content author can see that, get that message, or he say, I am on it, I'm gonna work on it. Uh, then he gonna edit that one and say, edit it. Once, you, once he edited, he can save directly away like that. Then he can say, I'm done that, resolved it. So this is, you can do without any fuss. You don't need to do any kind of uh, custom plugin or something. Even this is tracked by your emails. So this, this is the core, one of the core functionality will be shipping with the Drupal in a, another six to one year. Because it, this is, uh, it's, it's done already, it's still in development. So Drupal won't release anything without a stable version. So, Flexibility and extensibility. This is where Drupal really outshone other CMSs. You can, you can uh, imagine like uh, uh, Cosmo robot is like a average CMSs. Why? Because of it always do it. It always do the better job. It designed for it. Suppose like uh, as a average CMS that assume these certain of functionalities will be done by this CMS. So it does better way, it's always does better way. Uh, but Drupal like, a, uh, Drupal like a Mindstorm kit, you can, you can always build however you want it. You get the kit and you build according to your wishes. It's not like, uh, it's, it's not limited with a certain functionality. So suppose like uh, you can see the still the uh, Cosmo robot sit, is sitting with a jealous face there. Why? Because of, if you are using suppose example, 
if you are using uh, Magento, uh, you have a lot of content involved in the Magento framework, uh, but you search for the content, you never get any content in the search. Generally, it's searched only through the products in the Magento framework and returns back. So that means uh, Magento on WordPress is really good for blogs and uh, commerce system, but uh, it's not, you cannot extend the way you want it, your business wants, wants it. So Drupal has do that really well. You can get a lot of uh, tools to do that and you can extend it very flexibly. So all this happens with keep the pace with the innovations. Uh, all of you know that nowadays, can you imagine uh, we are spending almost more than a one and a half hour every day with the mobile phones. It's, it's never happened before. Nowadays, Technology is going to be a hu human all the time. They're trying to be more human like every day. So Drupal also as a uh, community, as a, as a project, we also understand we need to innovate always ourselves and make sure that our stakeholders has an easy life of the, choosing the platform. So Drupal always uh, adopting, keep adopting the new technologies, React.js, AMB, <coughs> uh, Big Pipe, Apple Pay, Stripe, uh, you can see go up beyond the web, like uh, you can easily integrate your Alexa with your web applications. So you can see that the API is awesome, API system, the JSON API, REST API, through that you can make sure that your application always talk to other applications in the world. You can easily do that with a secure way. That's uh, one of the reason uh, Drupal is, one of the reason Drupal is keep uh, the pace with the innovations. How Drupal is adopting this one, uh, this is the one of the picture, uh, got it from Megan uh, Sanik, is Drupal Executive Director's blog from a couple of recent days. So this is a layer of uh, adopting it. Uh, and it has uh, three major stakeholders, users, adoption, and community. And like it's more like uh, uh, the adoption way is like uh, make sure that every people are able to adapt that because of uh, I've been doing a, one of the uh, good website nowadays like uh, it's a uh, NGO school websites I and mean, it's done it in uh, Drupal 7 really well but if you keep adopting it you feel that okay I need to uh, and do that do this but uh, Drupal as a community if you're adopting new technology is make sure that all the stakeholders in the community all the business owners all the end users are well educated with adopting the new technology so that the transition of a business point of view or marketers point of view it will be smoother uh, that is the uh, goal of Drupal Association is doing it if you want to get more uh, know that it's a detailed description block there in that link you can go and find out always it's how Drupal is keeping the pace with the new technologies in this world so let's do an example from what are the scalability and flexibility how we are discussed so one day I want to start a start a business I started as a news website or blogging website and a couple of days I, fo I found that uh, I have a lot of content is coming, people are visiting it, I want to sell that content. Uh, then once in the midnight I realized that okay, it's not only selling, I want to make it as a more like a LinkedIn way, so I want to uh, reuse the content in a community way. So all these things can be done in a maybe a couple of weeks or a couple of months in Drupal without any, any more custom coding. You can do it, I mean, I would say I can do it in a maybe a couple of three days or week time. So I would say if you want to business like this, Drupal is always flexible to do that. This, this is a one of the way Drupal is outshines other CMSs. Because of if you start with the WordPress, you cannot do the other two things really well. It will take, you need to may hire another developer or another business POC or a lot of things you need to be done in that way. So this is a particular way Drupal is ultimately flexible. So this is I want to explain one thing because of you can see many people are using it you see charity you're using it you you see educational institutions are using it and you see government is using it so in a you can see the comic relief is using Drupal they make seconds with the millions of money as a war child it's a NGO again uh, they don't make much money uh, few 
few hundred, a few grants maybe uh, in a year. Uh, so, so I would say Drupal is not only for enterprise people. Uh, Drupal is always welcome for all small and big players in the market. So it's Drupal as a system or project, it's make sure that it's always uh, available as a free open source to everyone. So it's, it's not only enterprise system, that, that is one of the keynote in Drupal, Con, uh, Vienna, Dry said, uh, Drupal is not for a small website anyway, I say, I'm agreeing that. And like, again, he said, uh, we always want to take care of all both our single, uh, smaller as well as bigger players in the market. So Drupal is make sure as it's all for everyone and it can, you can use a simple website as well as a complex website. Uh, that's what all about Drupal. It, all because of these things has been done because of a fantastic Drupal community. This is the picture is taken from DrupalCon Vienna last 2017. Uh, all because of Drupal community. If you want to get involved with the Drupal community, I would say this is the right time. Today is the right time. You are sitting in a right involvement, Drupal Camp London. So uh, Drupal meetups, camps, cons, sprints, anyway, th th those are the events you can get involved with it. Uh, you can see that uh, there is a DrupalCon Vienna session rooms and like public functions. You can see the right corner, that is a Drupal trivia night. If you are planning to go to DrupalCon, don't miss that. That's a fantastic place you go, you found on your own people and you will have a lot of fun there. And as a Europe people, Drupal Europe is coming very soon. Uh, it's happening in September, that will also if you go there, you'll enjoy it, I'm sure that. Just want to announce that it's happening. And this, if you want to do a course printing, if you are a developer, you want to do a course printing, there will be always a mentor sprint happens. Uh, this is a picture generally happens in Drupal cons. Uh, the core mentoring people have a special color of t-shirts and they have a stripes on it. The stripes is really meant to be how many mentoring he done before, how experienced he is. So like, if you are a developer, go and uh, connect with the more Stripes people so they will easily uh, come and help you. So uh, this person in that one is no more. He, he worked with the Drupal community for several years. He is no more with us. He done a fantastic job. He got a brain cancer last year and died. Uh, if you still want to have a call mentoring, you can go to the link be behind that and you can see that online mentoring is happening. So you don't need a code. You, you don't need to be a coder to be involved with the Drupal community. You can be, you can contribute in many ways. So these are uh, the words like uh, you can contribute in uh, documentation, photography, you can join photography team, marketing team, uh, sharing the Drupal news or marketing blogs, articles, uh, design experiences, user experiences like uh, again Drupal, Drupal associate meeting, uh, reception desk, you can volunteer it, report an issue, just find uh, if you if you are found something like spam in the Drupal.org, report that, that is also, you can, however you want to get involved with the community is always welcome. <coughs> and if you want to find out how many camps happening in a uh, year, in a wherever it's happening, you can go to this website and find out where and all is happening, when and all is happening. And why this is always important because uh, you can see the people is posted like he draw every, every week or every once in a month and to find some certain people and get inspired. So if we have ups and downs in Drupal times or Drupal life, or, but Drupal community make sure that you get inspired, you get focused in your own way, in your business. It helps a lot way. I mean, I have a lot more to tell that, but I'm running out of time. So I want to say all Drupal events are very important. Just start and go there and find out your own force there. So if you want to learn Drupal as a career, uh, Drupal.org is the best place. Uh, that's how I started. And it's a fantastic journey since that. And I still believe that that is a core place you can learn easily. And we have a apprenticeship uh, program in UK and 
uh, that person, the picture of the person who is uh, my colleague, uh, his name is Daniel Davidson. He's a fantastic developer. He came from that uh, upper industry program. And you can stack overflow. Uh, you, can, you can go for any technical questions or even non-technical questions being answered related to Drupal there nowadays. And uh, that's a per we have a Drupal Summer of Code uh, Association. You, there are certain projects is you can do with the Drupal Summer of Code. That person is uh, Angie O'Brien, uh, is a Drupal project manager now, as a project manager, release manager now. She started in 2005 as a Summer of Code. She works with the, uh, she works for Drys in Acquia. So if, if you want to, you, update with the Drupal news. Drupal Planet is the best place. Uh, it gets a lot of feeds of all the Drupal companies, blog posts available in the market. And weekly drop, if you subscribe this one, it will come to your uh, in inbox. If you want to subscribe any Drupal news, it's come to your inbox. And still, if you don't want to, uh, any of this one, you still want to hearing as a podcast, we have a lot of podcasts available, talking to Drupal, Lulabot podcast, Akio podcast, Drupal easy. All of you make sure that you get the voice of Drupal. So, so you can join Drupal community. Uh, I would say four ways easily: register Drupal.org and Slack and ARC. Then follow in Twitter. So once you register, you get this dashboard. You can choose how you want to use your dashboard. You can use what all the things you want to see or any time. And please update once you register with your uh, Drupal.org uh, profile uh, because of it's make sure that you can get involved, you can find your own groups if you go to um, events or it remembers you uh, and you can upload a picture as well as just write uh, what you do other than Drupal or okay, you can in Drupal community you can find the similar minds of people are around. So Slack, uh, once you join Drupal Slack, you'll get a lot of channels there. Uh, please feel free to uh, start these channels. Uh, go and join these channels and find your own groups. Uh, can be technical, mostly non-technical, if you want more. So these are the resources I've been used it. I've been used these resources. Uh, you can read these resources like uh, Thank you for that. Really motivates me. A couple of blogs are there. Uh, thank you for that. So all of these wonderful images I've been used with these people who contributed from the Drupal events. Uh, uh, we need to credit them. We need to thank them for those wonderful images. Uh, I, be, I got my profile picture from DrupalCon Vienna. Even if you go to any kind of uh, Drupal events, Catch hold them, ask them to create a uh, get. If you don't have a good profile picture, ask them to click one. So I did that. Uh, I have one. I mean, these people are amazing uh, people, and they did a fantastic job on photography. And keep their shared as a free. Please do credit for them if you if you are using their photographs. Thank you. Uh, any questions, please? No questions. If, if you still you want to get involved more or anything, you can follow me in Twitter or you can get me through the CTI Digital. Thank you all.